this is Brenda. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please just take what resonates and leave the rest. I will pull one oracle card from each of the decks and then we'll do a three card tarot spread of past, present, and future. And just take what resonates and please leave the rest. It can be just one line or the entire reading. Um, just follow your intuition. So what does Virgo need to know today? What is the message for Virgo for today? The card that came out is sensitivity and strength. Tapping the forces within. So, definitely feels like a very grounded, solid, doing the work, Virgo energy. Um, just know that you do have that inner strength within you and you are surrounded and protective. Um, Maybe it is a little bit more of an emotional time for you right now with it being in Libra energy. Um, but just know that you are very protected and you have the strength within to overcome anything. Um, and then we will pull a card from this deck. And the card that came out is a change in the wind. So definitely a good energy there. So, it looks like, you know, Virgo, definitely just, you know, trudging along, doing your work. Um, just know that if things have been, you know, kind of slow recently with, you know, Mercury retrograde and, you know, we've had so many other planets in retrograde that maybe things have just been really slow and right now is a time for things to really move forward. There's nothing... Um, stopping right now. Mars goes retrograde at the end of the month, but right now it is in a good placement, so maybe it is time for some good action. The past energy is the Page of Swords, so maybe you were having some difficulty hearing the messages. Um, maybe you were focused on other things. Um, Current energy is the King of Pentacles, so that's definitely a good energy, a definitely Virgo energy there, you know, in, in enjoying from his hard work, and the future energy is the Queen of Swords. The bottom of the deck is the Strength card, so just know that you do have the strength to keep going and it is a time of leveling up so you may be getting messages you're not understanding maybe just bits and pieces and maybe happening in dream state I'm feeling so maybe just maybe when journaling wake when you wake up try to write down what you remember um, set the intention before you go to sleep that you would like to remember um, ask for guidance because you know your guides are always there to assist you um, that higher self is always there guiding you we will pull some clarification cards clarification for the page of swords we get the five of swords maybe you were getting a little bit of mixed messages Sometimes if we are not in the highest vibration, we don't get the clearest message. So maybe trying to be a little more grounded and tapping into that, you know, really focused energy and, you know, choosing what messages are of the highest vibration for you and know the ones that are the mind chatter and leaving those and walking away from that energy that's not serving you um definitely only taking the guidance that's for your highest and greatest good and leaving the rest um the king of pentacles for the current energy 
Um, spirit animals are really active at this time, I feel. I see the wolf there, so just being aware of your spirit totems with your animals. Um, the cards that came out are beautiful energy. We get the sun and the tower. So maybe some, you know, financial windfall coming to you very quickly. Um, really, you know, surprisingly, you know, or a, a great idea. Um, something coming to you in dream state, a new invention, or just something that can bring you lots of abundance very quickly. Um, even maybe the lottery just... Just know that you just have to tap into your inner wisdom and that anything can really come to you because it is a time for change, you know. Wonderful energy. Um, the future, we get the Hermit. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Definitely gaining some clarity. The world, a new cycle happening. From that, we also get the Eight of Wands, so definitely a lot of communication coming in. Um, the Queen of Swords is pretty clear about her, you know, the messages she's getting. Um, the Two of Cups, maybe some messages of love, maybe, you know, multiple offers, um, maybe a new job opportunity. Um, if you do win the lottery, just, you know, beware. <laughs> Of the messages that might come it would definitely be a change in your total life situation um, maybe a promotion or you know something um, where you're using your voice speaking being very clear on your energy um, sharing the message you know it is a new cycle we are definitely going through an ascension period so it is maybe time to step up and spread your message of love and that, you know, love is the choice that you get to make. Um, the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords, which is, you know, walking away from the things that are not serving you, um, choosing to, you know, go with your inner guidance. You have the Strength card here. You have the Change of Wing card so just know that you just need to follow your inner guidance because everything is always working out for you, as Abraham says. Um, you just have to, you know, pick which messages are of the highest vib vibration for you. And really, if you go to that positive mindset, you know, so quickly, everything you want can manifest for you. Um, and, you know, open up... Um, I know my clairvoyance has really recently opened up quite a bit. So I know, and that happened very suddenly for me. So I'm sure that's really going on for a lot of people right now. So it's really time, you know, Virgo to get out there and, you know, walk the path, you know. Do the work. Um, spread the message. It's time for, you know. Us to speak up and speak clear and be be the guiding light for the others. Um, and just show them we have the strength to be, you know, our authentic self to truly step into your power. And, you know, don't take any shit from anybody. Um, be in your power for sure. It's a wonderful time to do that. And, you know. As the card says, a change in the wind. So anything you want can come to you at this time. All you have to do is recognize everything is a reflection of your energy. So raising your energy can rapidly bring in everything that you want. So I hope that reaches you well, Virgo, and have a great day. Thank you.